why did I choose Landmark Chambers? It's a set that enjoys a very good reputation uh, generally as a very high quality set. It especially enjoys that reputation in its main areas of practice, which are planning law, public law, environmental law, uh, and property law. And I really wanted to train somewhere that is high quality because I thought that would give me the best start in my career. And the training here has been excellent. Really, Landmark started to stand out to me when I was noticing its barristers appearing in lots of different cases that were very high profile. The Heathrow third runway case, uh, any case really in the field of planning and environmental law, you will find landmark barristers almost always. Has anything surprised me about my pupillage here? I, I think I have been struck by the generosity of, of people at Chambers. Generosity in terms of they're very willing to answer questions on really what I would consider often to be quite silly questions, but I've always been put at ease and, and told this is not a silly question and, and, and encouraged to ask more. And really that, that has been across the board. Everyone I've met here has been extremely open and uh, really wanting me to, to do my best. I think the most rewarding aspect of pupillage has been seeing my own skills develop over time. I, I can look back to the start of my pupillage and see a clear improvement in work. And, and there's nothing more fulfilling than that in, in one's career, to see you getting better. And I would say that that has been encouraged and fostered by my supervision here. This has been clear areas for improvement that my supervisors have given me. And it has, they, I've been given the space to, to work on, on those skills. What I would recommend to those who are considering applying for pupillage at Landmark is to be aware of what's happening in the news in Landmark's main areas of practice. So that's in planning law, in environmental law, but not just in, in the law, but in, in the national conversations on these topics. Perhaps now more than ever, these areas are a huge part of public life. Um, as I'm speaking at the moment, there are huge controversies over the government's plans for uh, reforming planning law. There are daily issues in the news to do with climate change, uh, and how that relates to the environment, but also other issues to do with the pollution of rivers, uh, building new airports. All of these things are areas that landmark barristers work on on pretty much a daily basis. And the best start you can give yourself is to just be interested and aware of these topics because there is a wealth of information that's available to you online that you can digest in your own time. I would say, though, that there is no expectation uh, from, from Landmark that you have any prior knowledge of the law in these areas. But what they would like to see is a keen interest in those subjects. And it's very easy to, to generate that interest for yourself by being engaged, which actually is something you can do as an ordinary citizen anyway. If you want to be a good barrister in these areas, you do need to be aware of the, the wider issues within the sectors that you're working on, because that's what the, your, your clients want to know that you understand what matters to them. And the best way to do that is to be on top of all of the issues going on in those areas. And, and actually, those issues often become cases that Landmark Chambers barristers work on. The tips I would give to those who are about to undertake a pupillage uh, would be to really see this as a learning opportunity. It is the only time in your career that you're going to have the space to focus on your personal development uh, without having to worry too much about other aspects of, of practice at the bar. Take very detailed notes of all conferences that you attend, all hearings that you attend. Th that might sound like an obvious uh, point, but you'll be surprised by how often you want to go back to your notes of those hearings, etc., uh, to remind yourself what happened uh, and to see how other barristers dealt with issues that might come up later in your own cases. The other thing I would say is to make sure you've taken some time before uh, undertaking pupillage for yourself and make sure you've had a good rest and make sure you've sorted out any uh, issues that you need to sort out um, in, in your personal life, whatever that might be. Because when you start pupillage, um, it can be quite intense, not, not necessarily in terms of the workload, although that can be quite hard, although at Landmark we do encourage work-life balance. But really it's that pupillage can take a heavy toll on your, your mental uh, state of fitness in terms of by the end of the day, you'll be exhausted. And when you get home, you're just going to want to relax. Uh, so it's best to sort out anything before you start. Mm -hmm.